Bloop a doop a doo. Bloop a doop a da ba boo. Picture this. It's 1993. Final Fantasy and Dragon Quest have released five games each. Both have been innovating through each entry. Final Fantasy more so than Dragon Quest, and they are the undisputed rulers of the RPG genre. Fantasy Star has also had three entries by this point, as has Megami Tensei. Breath of Fire has just come out, and your new game is going to come out in about two months. Does your game have what it takes to stand up against these other games? The new game in question is Lufia and the Fortress of Doom. It was developed by Neverland and published by Taito. I think it's interesting to compare Lufia and Breath of Fire as they're the two newcomers on the scene. Neither game has that great of a story. Lufia is interesting in that it starts at the end of another story with a different party of characters, and then the game proper really starts about a hundred years later. It really falters after that. It feels like a lot of the game is just gathering items A, B, and C to give to person D so that they can help you do E and then get to F. And Breath of Fire is very similar in this respect, though. Uh, characters aren't great in either game. I think Breath of Fire's characters are just a hair more interesting, though. What bits of character flavor text we do get in Lufia makes the characters pretty unlikable, though. The hero is pretty dumb, but at least he's not a silent protagonist. Lufia and Jaren are petty as hell. Aguro, or Agro as I call him, is also pretty dumb, but bonus, he gets to join in on the pettiness of the women. The villains are mostly pretty bland as well, until one twist at the very end of the game that makes one of the characters kind of more interesting. Graphics and design are where Breath of Fire really pulls ahead of Lufia. I like the colors in Lufia, but the graphics and design in that game don't have nearly the charm that Breath of Fire does. And the sprites? Oh boy! Uh, the sprites in Lufia are pretty bad, especially for the four Sinistrals. The heroes aren't great. The, they either look like a toddler like the hero, or they look kind of indistinguishable from the NPCs like Jaren. The towns are dull. And even though the Fortress of Doom itself looks pretty rad, the rest of the dungeons in the game are just winding maze-like caves, mostly caves, whole lot of caves, few towers that are slightly less maze-like but are often just as annoying to play through. Then we've got sound. The composition for Lufia is fine, below average, but not bad but the sounds that are used to make that music can sometimes be incredibly grating. Breath of Fire has similar issues, but not to the same extent that Lufia has these issues. This Lufia OST is not one that I'm going to return to. Then we get to gameplay. Both games have some pretty serious issues with their battle systems, but this is where Lufia gets some seriously low scores. In the game, you can't choose the specific enemy you're targeting. Let's say you're fighting two bats and two spiders. You can choose to attack a bat or a spider, but you don't get to choose which of the two you're attacking. This sort of just makes the battles unnecessarily difficult. Also, it does a thing that a lot of RPGs do, in that if two characters are targeting the same enemy and the first one kills it, the second one just attacks thin air and the attack, the attack misses then. I mean, like I said, that's a fairly common thing, especially in older JRPGs, but it's really annoying every time it appears. There are also just way too many random battles. So you've got annoying battles, too many of them, in winding maze-like cave dungeons, and this game is just kind of not very fun to play. In the last review video I made, I gave Breath of Fire a 74% or a C. It's not a great game, but it's got some charm to it and it's worth a playthrough. Lufia, on the other hand, gets a 60% or a D-. 
This game just isn't worth it, to be honest. I would suggest you skip it. It just doesn't try much of anything interesting or new, and the dungeons and battles are frustrating. Alright, thanks for watching my review. Do you agree or disagree? Let me know in the comments below. Give this video a like if you liked it, and please subscribe to our channel so that you can see our new videos as soon as they're released. That's it for now. Maintain your groovy selves.